Hey guys, so today I am doing something a little bit differently. I was requested to make a video on how to make a player have a jump animation, such as it shows, it doesn't just show them like going up and down, it kind of shows them like pushing off the ground, is what I gathered. So here's my jump animation for my player. And then here is a regular stance animation. Now, this is just jumping, so if you need walking or whatever, you would need like a walking one and stuff. So I'm just showing jump. So now that you have two costumes, not two sprites, because it matters. See how it's one sprite, you click on costumes, and they have numbered and names. So in the code... I know it looks like a lot of blocks here. I'm going to break it down because it's really, it's not all of them. What you need is, you need a variable. I, I just call it gravity. And you set it to zero because you'll set it to zero when the game starts. See right here? So you're going to set it to zero. And only when the player is jumping. Now for my game, I had to make sure he's like on a certain color because that's the ground. and So you can ignore all of that. What you're really looking for is the switch costume, the setting, the gravity, and then right here, when they jump. So, if key space pressed, obviously you're going to switch it from stand to jump. And then, setting it to 7 is just an example. Like, the bigger number you choose, it'll vary in how the difference. So, for example, oh, it's not even, I gotta refresh this. Da 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 da, internet. Okay. So, that uh, scratch is so slow, oh my gosh. Okay, so, in the future, while this loads, uh, you guys can totally request certain videos in the comments. It's totally, or messages, whatever. Um, so, my player's right here, you can go. So, when I hit jump, he's got this whole animation going on. Now, the height, see how he goes, like, kind of right underneath the tree's leaves? If I did a different number other than 7 when I set gravity to when the player is jumping, then it would uh, matter. So, for example, if I set it to 11 and then play the game, he jumps so much higher. So that's what I meant by that. Alright, so if you have any other questions... Oh, right, the important part. Other than uh, that part, but it, it won't actually affect... Him going up and down until you do the change Y by. I know that's not a uh, common sense for everyone. So obviously your X and Y axes are the only thing that will make your character move. So use the variable that I was explaining the whole video right here. So these two blocks you would put in like I guess whatever loop you're doing. Because right here is a function for myself. So I have it constantly playing around in here in this forever loop over here with the player controls and stuff. So that's how mine works. If you need to like rewind and do it all back, that's that's probably how most people understand programming for the first time. Because I know I did this really quickly, but it's kind of straightforward because it's like block, block, variable. Okay, now apply it. Done. So yeah. Uh, I know it was a question, but it was a quick question, so I decided to do the video for it. If you have any other questions or you're confused, you can leave a comment below. And I'll see you guys on the flip side. See ya.